Hey friends, how's it going? It's Nick with Urban Farm Boys. Welcome to my back patio. It is gardening day. Um, we are in the first week of May. The weather is nice and it's time to start planting my garden. However, I'm changing everything. I have a beautiful garden uh, right behind you. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, the people who lived here before us built it out of logs from the forest that we live in. And it was super pretty. Uh, it was one of the main selling features of this house. When I saw it, I was like, yes, I want the house with the garden. And I've used it the last couple of years since we moved in, but it was built for aesthetics, not for functionality. The wood basically has just rotted away. And I had a whole plan to renovate the garden and build a new one and show you guys the process along the way. And as I did the demolition, I ran into decision fatigue, essentially. As I started taking down the fences and looking at the sort of existing floor plan of the outdoor garden, I just couldn't make up my mind. I wanted to make it bigger. I wanted to change it all up. I wanted to change the sort of configuration of it for the light. And the more I thought about it, the more I just kind of got overwhelmed and couldn't make up my mind. And then I was like, I have to, I have to do something. I have to do something. We have to get seeds in the ground. And then I decided, you know what? This does not have to be a stressful process. I can grow my garden in another way this year and figure out what I want to do with the garden. Part of me also wants to build a greenhouse, which is a whole lot more expensive. But for now, I'm sort of abandoning my garden over there. I'll show it to you. Um, and I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna use grow bags and grow everything I wanna grow in grow bags on my back patio here. So in today's video, I'm basically gonna just give you a brief peek at my garden demolition, and then I'm gonna do some planting. I have a bunch of uh, things that I got at the garden center the other day. I have some seeds growing inside, some seedlings and some other seeds that I'm going to plant. And this is going to be my grow bag garden 2024. I have some plant furniture that I built to store all my grow bags. And so we're just going to do that because you know what? Your garden shouldn't stress the crap out of you. And I just don't have enough time either, to be honest. So it's going to be good. It's gonna be fun. I guess we should get started, but let me show you what we're working with. I'm gonna show you my garden and then I'm gonna show you my patio because now that I'm sitting out here, there's a lot of cleanup that needs to be done. It's a super nice patio too. The people who lived here before also designed and built this patio and it's beautiful, but there's weeds everywhere and it needs a refresh. So maybe we'll do that today too. If you are into that kind of thing, please give the video a like, comment below, all those good things. So let me start by giving you the overview. I'm gonna pick you guys up. Okay, so we have this pretty big garden here. This is the back of the house. And garden, yard, I should say. Pool is back there. But there's a super nice patio that the people before us built. It's big too. I'm gonna walk to the end of it. So it's super pretty. Now I'm gonna turn you around so I can see what I'm doing. We have a lot of herbs growing, but there's a lot of weeds. So I gotta do some tidying. Um, we have a little fire pit there. That's where I'm burning a bunch of cardboard. So excuse the mess. And then um, this little piece of furniture, I've used it the last couple of years out on my front porch to put my house plants. I changed that up this year. Uh, it just wasn't big enough. So I ordered something else on Amazon, which was this, which I thought was gonna be perfect and then it ended up not being perfect. So I made a whole houseplant porch video from this spring, which I'll link below if you wanna check that out. But this was not gonna work out on the porch for my houseplants. But I thought, well, maybe it'll work back here for grow bags. And then the flooring here just has a ton of weeds. So I gotta clean up. Um, over here, I also bought these from Amazon. I put one together, this little plant stand, which I might use depending on how many grow bags I have. And I have another one right there that I have not put together yet. But then out here, it's just a lot of herbs, 
a lot of boxes to burn and we've planted a lot of things. It needs a tidy. See all the weeds? So we got to do a tidy, but we're going to do the fun part first, which is planting seeds and getting the garden ready. There's a second level down here where they've planted hostas. So we have hostas going all the way around the entire patio. It's super pretty. Maybe I'll walk you around it. So it's a nice patio <laughs> once that's gone. Um, and it leads right out to the pool. But everybody needs some work and I have some time today. So we're gonna do it. I guess I'll just take you out to my garden. So the garden is over here. I have, I think I've put it in a video or two, maybe when we first moved in. I have demolished the entire thing. So I'll see if I can insert some pictures or videos of what it used to be. Um, also, please ignore this giant black fence. It's a whole thing. We're planting a privacy fence. This is an interim for privacy. We have exactly one neighbor and this is what we're doing in the meantime. But there's a ton of dead leaves in here from last fall. But the people who lived here before built this and it was super pretty. It had a fence all around it. It's like logs from our forest. It even has irrigation built in from the irrigation system. But as I demol demolished the fence, I thought, well, maybe I want to dupli like, duplicate this layout, like mirror it further back to make a bigger garden space. And then I just got all these other ideas, couldn't decide. I don't know, we'll see as the summer goes, maybe I'll Maybe I'll do something with it, but I think I just want to kind of tear the whole thing out and build something new. So that's the garden. That's our chicken coop back there, can you see? We're renovating that too, so we can have more chickens. That's the garden. But anyway, that's the former garden. We're gonna do backyard bag garden. Wow, that doesn't sound quite as sexy, does it? <laughs> but that's what we're doing. All right, time to get started. So my potting soil, I'm just using commercial miracle Grow potting mix. If you've seen any of my houseplant videos, I make my own houseplant soil mix because um, I like it better than the commercial stuff. I have tried growing seeds in my own mix before and I use like an inorganic blend that has essentially no nutrients for plants in it and I have learned the hard way that um, growing seeds need vitamins they need nutrients so I'm just using the simple easy potting mix for now to get my seeds and my seedlings started and then I got these grow bags I'll link everything below in the description these are specifically meant to grow things outside of the ground and I've used them in the past with varying levels of success but I have a bunch of them like literally behind the camera there's a ton of them I've had them in our shed which is over there all winter and I think this bag is full of acorns I think a little chipmunk or some something found a home in there a couple of my bags had holes in them actually I have one no I don't I threw them away but anyway, I'll link these below as well. So I'm gonna try to do this super easy and just use, you know, commercial potting mix and grow bags. I have bought tomatoes. I'm just looking here at what I have. I've bought one, two, three, four, five tomato plants. I have um, cucumbers, which I'm actually gonna plant over there. I bought some basil, which we have a little basil section. I'm gonna plant over there. Peas, beans, I'm looking at one of my plants right behind you guys and it's got, it's covered in some kind of something. Little caterpillars. Okay, so gardening people, snap beans are covered. Let me get my face out of here so it'll focus in little caterpillars. What's that about? 
I don't know what that's about. I'm pretty good with house plants, but gardening, I'm learning. Anyway, sweet peas, snap beans. Inside I've grown a bunch of chili peppers, jalapenos, hatch chilies. I think that's it. And then we'll see once this is done how many grow bags I have left and then I might plant some seeds. I also have a bunch of flower seeds I might do. Ooh, yeah, I have some flower ideas too. So if this is your jam, please make sure to like the video. It really, really does help. I appreciate you guys. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want. I'll link my username below, Nikas Arbata. I post a lot on Instagram, so you can see kind of my day-to-day -day over there. I think, so I have varying sizes of grow bags. I think I bought a few small ones that I don't think I have anymore, but I have these medium-sized ones. And then I have some large. See, this got eaten. This got eaten. We have a lot of chipmunks here. And they're cute, but they... Actually, the chipmunks got into my potatoes. A couple of years ago, I grew potatoes in grow bags, and they ate them all. I hope they enjoyed my potatoes. But I've got a couple of different sizes. I think the tomato plants I'm going to put in the big bags because I think they are going to be the most robust growers. So we'll start with a smaller one. I've got my snap peas and my beans. Cucumber is for later. We'll do the snap beans with the caterpillars later. I don't love that. But anyway, um, let's see. So I'm basically a newbie to gardening. So if you guys have tips for me, please share them. I will appreciate them. And if you're also a newbie to gardening, then hopefully you'll learn something from this. I bought two big bags of potting mix, and I hope that's enough. These are really big bags. This is definitely more soil than I would use for house plants, but we're simulating these guys being in the ground, so I think it'll be okay. So, we're just gonna make a little hole for this friend. He's got a pretty good root system already. Snap beans. these little tags so I know what's what later. And we're just going to throw them in the ground, in the bag. I think as they grow, I can add more soil on top if I need to. I think these will settle quite a bit, but that's all you do. You see? A little bag, a little plant. No need to go in the ground. So if you live in an apartment or something, we live close to New York City. I work in the city, and I think about all the people who live in apartments, but they might have like a fire escape or a little balcony. You can still garden out on your balcony. So there's a little heirloom blue lake snap bean. Also behind me I have some berry bushes that we planted I think last year. We planted blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. And I think the uh, maybe the raspberries died or the blackberries. The other two are okay, but I bought strawberries this year, so I'm gonna refresh those two here in a little bit. But in the meantime, I now have my sugar and snap peas. If you guys have tips on if you have a patio or any area in your yard where you have these like brick pavers or cobblestones. How do you keep the weeds under control? I also, this whole patio is surrounded by herbs, so I don't want to spray a ton of pesticides because I don't want to eat them later. But this whole patio has little weeds popping up in between. We have sprays, we have all kinds of things. There's, we also bought like a torch. My neighbor said you can torch them and that does work. It's also fun. 
It's like a little flamethrower for weeds. But if you guys have any tips, I mean, maybe chemicals are the way, but I'd rather not do that where I have food growing. All right, beans, peas, these are peas. I need to make sure these have something to climb. I think I will probably top these up later, but I'm realizing these bags take a lot of soil. That's fine. So there's my sugar and snap peas. Um, I'm gonna do big grow bags for the tomatoes. I also have trellises and I'm fairly confident I can put the trellises into the grow bags. I don't really know where I'll put them once that's done, but I got five tomatoes over there. My strawberry, maybe a oh, cucumber. No, he's gonna go in the ground. All right, let me go and grab my pepper seedlings from inside and we'll plant some peppers. I just planted one tray of seedlings this year. In previous years, I've done like four when I had the big garden. And I'm not super great at it. So I planted zucchini. I planted some tomatoes. These are all peppers. And almost everything in the middle died. Um, that's chilies. We've got zucchinis. I have all my rhubarb died. I've got some Brussels sprouts that may be alive. Cauliflower died. All my tomatoes died. Celery. I have a couple of celery survivors. These zucchini, if you guys are gardeners, I know that new plants reach for the light. I have them under grow lights, but they're so long. I also don't know how well zucchini will do growing in a grow bag because they get so big, but I think I'm gonna try one, but like they're all flopped over. Can you plant them deep in soil like tomatoes? I'm gonna try it today just because why not? But I love spicy peppers. And so the bulk of what I'm doing is uh, hatch chilies and jalapenos. I think my camera fell while I was talking to you guys, sorry. Fix that there. So pepper plants can get pretty big too, but I think because these are little seedlings, I'm gonna plant like two or three in each grow bag. And then as they grow, we can trim them down. Okay, let me get a little bag of soil here. This is a bigger bag, see? Let me see if I have smaller. See, I have all different sizes. This is also wide, but not as deep, which could be good. Yeah, I might use these wide and not deep bags for a few bags of peppers. Okay, let me fill this guy up. We're already running out of soil in this first bag. So I have hatch hot and hatch medium. I'm gonna do hot first. I'm planting probably like, I might do like four in each bag just because that should give me some insurance that these will do okay. I'm pulling the roots right off of some of these. Let's see. Good, so that's hatch hot. So in this other bag, I'm gonna do the hatch mediums. Something bit my neck, I think.
I'm gonna waste so many of these seedlings. I think I might wanna order more of the small bags. Just wanna see what that looks like. I think I'll order more of the small bags just because I feel like I'm gonna waste a lot of these that are doing so well. <sighs> okay. Yeah, definitely ordering more of the small bags. So there's gonna be a part two to this video. But in the meantime, let's plant tomatoes and grow bags and see how that works. You know what I do have is a ton of terracotta pots. So maybe I'll use my terracotta pots for seedlings, for seeds, actual seeds. Um, they dry out quickly, but out here it's easy to water everything. So I could maybe start some seeds in terracotta. <sighs> okay, so first grow bag, ready to go. So I bought Roma tomatoes. I bought San Marzano. These are bush hybrid, better bush hybrid tomatoes. They say these are good for growing in bags. I bought Husky Cherry Red. And I bought Sun Sugar Yellow Cherry Tomatoes. So that's fun. Um, and I think these bags will hold, once they're established, they'll hold a trellis. That's my goal anyway. So I think I'll start with the San Marzano. These you can bury deep because tomatoes will root from like their whole stem. So I'm gonna cover most of the stem there. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll root and then we'll trellis you. I have all my little tags in here so I know what's what. San Marzano done. Okay. Okay, we'll do our better bush tomatoes next. soil all over myself. That's good. See? I'm running out of soil, so I gotta kind of pour it this time. Okay, that was one bag of miracle Grow down. I think we'll do Roma tomatoes next, just because I know these get fairly big. See, it's not any different really than planting in soil. In the ground, I should say. There's Roma. Got a couple more, two more tomato plants. These are smaller bags. I think I'm gonna try for smaller too, just to see how it works. I guess I can always transplant them later if I need to. We'll do our husky red cherry tomatoes. Good. Husky red. And 
And then the last one we'll do is our yellow cherry tomatoes. Okay. up a little bit and then I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do about seeds. I decided against terracotta because seeds need to be pretty moist when they're starting and terracotta is not very good for that but I have my little seed container here. This is an old photo container. Old I should say. It's not old. It's meant to be a photo container. I bought this at Michael's I think. And it's great for seed packets. I have all my little seeds inside. So I'm trying to figure out, I wanna do some um, greens. You know what, having said all of this, greens I feel like I could plant in big grow bags. I definitely wanna do like spinach and arugula and lettuce. Some more herbs here. I'm not doing carrots this year. Cut. Let's see. So I have my greens container and I have all-star kale mix, blue scotch curled kale, Swiss chard, arugula, Waldman's lettuce, romaine, Simpson lettuce. Let me just take a think here. I'm gonna look at my flowers. A little flower interlude here. I planted all this milkweed last year. It must have all died because I don't have any of it left. I wanted to get butterflies and all kinds of pollinators coming, but that didn't work out. I have a little zone over there where I want to plant dill and I have this mammoth Long Island dill. Also this company, Hudson Valley Seed Company, that's where I live. I live, we live in the Hudson Valley. Pulled out the cucumber seeds too because I want a big cucumber zone. We want to do a bunch of pickling this year so that'll go in the cucumber zone. So I guess really it's just greens. I'm going to do them in the bags. I'll use up the rest of my soil if I have to buy more. That's fine. There's already going to be a part two of this video. Cut. I'm filling these bags a little bit more full than the others because since it's greens, they'll pop up really quickly and they don't grow quite as big. So I want I have all this kale, but I don't love kale. I want arugula. I want lettuce. And I want spinach. Let's do romaine lettuce. I'm gonna get more lettuce than I need in this bag, but it's okay. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit over the top. And then with things like this, you barely have to cover them with soil. like that. This is romaine. How am I going to remember that? I have these little guys, but I don't have a sticker. I wonder if I can write directly on these with a permanent marker. Let's find out. I'm just going to try and see if this will work. Romaine. Looks like it works for me. Stick it in there. Okay. I think I have enough soil for two more grow bags. So I think I'm gonna try to do a spinach and an arugula. And then I'm gonna order, I think, some more grow bags. I have a ton of these big ones, but 
need the smaller ones, I think. Okay, let's do the spinach zone and see if we have room for the arugula zone. Spinach zone is ready. I'm also gonna sort of overseed this. Oh, these spinach seeds are bigger. Probably plenty. I always overseed. So that's spinach, that's matador spinach. Now the question is, do I do an arugula bag or do I plant my strawberries? I don't think I have enough soil for my strawberries or maybe I'll have to recycle what I have but I feel like I want greens. So my last bag is gonna be arugula. Arugula is like my favorite thing. I like to bake and cook and we have behind me here, we have a smoker. And last year I discovered how to make um, smoked pizza, making like any kind of pizza you want with your own homemade dough. And then you cook it in the smoker and it's so good. And my favorite type of pizza is arugula, goat cheese, prosciutto, and balsamic glaze. It's the best thing in the entire universe. Arugula is always expensive and or hard to find. So why not grow my own? So that's what we're gonna do. I have a lot of these big grow bags. That was not the size I wanted. But this is gonna be my last soil bag. This was a deeper one. It's fine, it's fine. This is supposed to be fun, right? So let's sprinkle our arugula here onto the soil. That was plenty. All right, and then top it off with just a little bit of soil to cover. And that's arugula. I think it works pretty well writing on these little things. So, with that, we have to call it a day with the grow bags. So I'm gonna reposition the camera. I'm gonna put the grow bags over on my little shelf. Once all the vegetables and foods are in place. I'll see what else I have room for. Maybe some flowers and things. Flowers I could probably do in terracotta. I don't know, we'll see. And then I've got cucumbers and basil and what else? Dill to plant. So on to the next. The bad part is, is like, I always like on my days off, I'm like, I wanna do this, this, this. But by the time my day off comes, I'm like... I want to do nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, I, I need, I wanted a haircut. I wanted a tan. And I don't feel like doing any of that. <laughs> it's like 1 p.m. now. So like, and it's a weekend, so it's probably filled now. How you get stung on your skinny thing. <laughs> See, this is the problem. These tomatoes are gonna grow so big. Go on that trellis thing where you had them. What trellis thing? That those tomatoes go on that thing down over there. The big pots go on the little ones, and the little ones go on the big thing. Just so everybody knows, today is really? May the fourth, and it's also World Naked Gardening Day. Really? And I have the perfect specimen right in front of me. Who doesn't want to be naked on YouTube because that's forbidden, but he's full of opinions. <laughs> it's just 
perfect. When you're a plant geek and you follow all the plant people on Instagram, you know right away when it's World Naked Gardening Day because suddenly your Instagram gets all spicy. <sighs> That's fine. I just think it sticks out too much there. I think your mom sticks out too much. Really? These are all gonna, this is not gonna work no. long term. But I can also plant flowers and stuff that I can throw on here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I think that could be like herbs too. Yeah, that, that too. Because <laughs> as soon as these grow, like yeah. they're not even gonna get enough light. No. Potatoes maybe? It, no, they get big on top. These, okay. this thing is. This thing might be a backyard fail too, because this is perfect. That's perfect, yeah. But that's where your big plants should go. And it should go back right over there. I mean, the greens will work. And you have a whole other one that you can build too, that can go on the other side. So all your things should go on both of these sides. The tomates? Tomates, yeah. I think for now, I'll just use this thing. 2024 garden. <laughs> Urban farm garden. I mean, I picture this is what people in the city do. I know, right? If this you have is a, probably how they plan. That's what I told my friends. Your friends. If you have only a fire escape in Manhattan, this is what you, do. you can have grow bags. Yeah. This looks hideous, but I think for it's now, different. it's different. I think this was just a fail. I think I. I don't know. I'll put that back over there. Really? That's off camera. Andrew doesn't want it right here. He wants it right there by the hose reel. He's worried that his naked reflection is going to be in a window, but it's not. People like to zoom in. Really? Well, just show it to them so they don't have to sleuth. Really? better. This area should be clear, especially when you're inside in the window. You don't want to see stuff sticking out like that. That looks cleaner over there. I'm going to plant the basil and the dill. Yeah. I like our little dill zone. I know, and it grows so big. And then chives. It was so funny when I was mowing the lawn over there and the whole area smelled like chives. That area smells like chives and this side of the house smells like mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> Cook in a burrito. What? I'm like, well, where else would that be good? I don't know if coconut burrito sounds good to me. I don't think it does. Look, dill zone. Done. Andrew is still celebrating World Naked Gardening Day. Really? Right behind us. I don't want to put clothes on. I know, same, but I have to, or otherwise YouTube will demonetize me. <sighs> what should we do with these kids? Uh, come here. I think over here in the middle. I think it should go green, Red, green. In the middle? Mm-hmm. What's gonna go here? I'll figure something out. Something will go there. Well, your tulip has to go then. No, it could go behind the tulip. Because the tulip will die in like a week or two. And <clears throat> one random tulip. Exactly like that. Yep, that's perfect. I even like the places that you place them in. Yeah. Maybe that went a little further out. This one? Yep, just a little bit. Right there. Okay, a little closer in like an inch. Really? I have to dig a hole. Yeah, that's perfect. And then something else yep. there? Uh, something else. I want something that comes back every year. I don't know what though. I 
Every time I look at the rocks, I think of her. I know, me too. Do we have a, oh yeah, we do have a basil. Well, you're the one who painted the basil one, right? That looks like someone <laughs> who was a child paint, painted me. it. I did a good design. That's cute. She did sage, or you did. I didn't, I don't think I painted any of them. Do you guys want to see Andrew's basil rock? Oh, you did sage too, I thought. Did I? Because she didn't like the spacing. My friend Mandy is a teacher, and her and her kids come every summer. And last summer they wanted to paint rocks for our garden. So, for example, and she and her kids did these. So we have cucumbers. <laughs> Andrew did this one. And Mandy got very, very serious about the rock painting. Oh my god, I'm looking at the bottom of the rock where you wrote a message. Do you remember what you wrote? I have no idea. So this was Andrew's art. On the back, he wrote, Basil is native to tropical Asia and belongs to the mint family. <laughs> oh, my fun fact! I forgot <laughs> I did that. He was really proud of his bee. I was proud of my bee and the beehive. Grab another one that Mandy did. Oh, I did chives. Did you? I remember I did chives. Chives were good. I Mandy really liked chives it. Chives are pretty good. I did dill. I did this one. Chives. Yeah, dill. That looks a little basic. Oh, I like how I did dill in the background. You did that one too? Yeah. <laughs> I like that you're like, that looks basic. I did that. I was like, oh. So we have these all over the garden. I, I did the dill so it kind of looks like a cucumber. And then Mandy painted a little like compass a for me so I can find myself. <laughs> you want to pull weeds in the cucumber zone? No. Please? No. Please? I did my work. My hands don't Comment work. below if you want Andrew to help out in the... Really? I mowed the whole grass and I don't... Want I do that every week. I and I already fixed the lawnmower this morning before you even woke up. I wanna... Don't team up on YouTube against me. What is that? Why don't you come over here and talk to them then? Um, okay. I don't know how to censor that stuff. Don't team up on YouTube with me. Comment below if you're Team Nick or Team Andrew. <laughs> what is this? Twilight? Twi oh, Twilight. The wolf or the vampire. He said, what is this, Twilight? You're the vampire now. He works nights. So it's 2 p.m. and he just woke up. Oh, you're Jacob. Blood. That was his name. No, you're... What's his name? Why did I forget? Jacob is the werewolf. What's the other one's name? Edward. Eddie. Eddie. Oh god! I almost just fell off. Okay. The dog is booping your camera. Tugger. <laughs> Alright, basil zone is done. I'm excited for the purple basil. Cover the butt crack. The goodies. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in the garden. I'm excited to see how this urban garden turns out. Um, links are in the description for ways you can follow us on social media. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care, guys.